Hello everybody, it's your girl next door AC and welcome back to Dream Daddy. It's been a while since we've played Dream Daddy and um, well, I don't know if we're heading into the second date or it's just gonna be like a story thing today, but don't know, let's go check it out. While I was doing my afternoon word jumbles, I hear the mail truck pulling through the cool de sac. I wonder if we got any coupons today. The nice mail person slides a couple of letters in a large yellow envelope through the slot. It takes a couple of tries for them to get in. Hey, my coupons. I take a closer look at the large yellow envelope. Hmm. I lightly knock on Amanda's door. She probably has headphones on. Amanda? She yells through the door. What? I have something for you. I'm kind of busy right now. Can you come back later? Okay, just thought you'd want this big old envelope we got from HIA. Immediately, Amanda pushes her door open. Porn Institute for the Artist? I mean, if you're busy, I can come back. <laughs> Father, please! I handed her the envelope, which she tears open with her teeth. It's probably bad for your teeth. She doesn't seem to hear me and spits out a piece of an envelope. She pulls out a letter and unfolds it. Eh? And... The suspense is killing me. This is her dream score. Amanda's face is unreadable. Hmm. I can't believe this. Oh, honey, it's okay if you didn't- yes. I got in! Oh! I got in! Amanda tosses the letter aside and gives me a big hug. Congrats, sweetie. That's amazing. I'm so proud of you. She pulls away and looks at the letter again. Oh my god, I really can't believe I got in. Well, of course you got it. You're a great student. You nailed that interview and your photography is incredible. Oh. Wait, Dad? Mm. I know this one's really expensive and it's so far away. I think for a moment, HIA was one of the more expensive schools that Amanda applied for, but I know that she had her heart set on it for, a lo for the longest time. It'll be tough, but we're gonna make it work. Mm. Really? Of course. Amanda hugs me again. Hey. Thanks, Dad! Okay, sweetie, we're celebrating tonight. Dinner. Your choice, whatever you want. <laughs> Wherever? Amanda and I walk along the bayside, tearing into our foil wrapped burritos from a nearby food truck. We could have chosen anywhere in Maple Bay, and cost was not a determining factor. Please, Dad, you know I'm a simple gal. Just give me a burrito with a view. Burrito with a view. Oh, see. I didn't know that shortcut of burrito was burritos. <laughs> I can't say I'm mad. Amanda and I sit on a patch of grass and watch ships watch ships sail lazily through the bay. Yeah. And the dorms are right near a bunch of cafes and these are all there are all these galleries nearby and there's a discount if you bring your student ID. And Amanda, slow down, you're gonna choke on your burrito. I know, I'm just excited. Did I mention that students get their own studio space once they're seniors and we all get professional photo editing software for free? It's nice to see Amanda so enthusiastic about HIA, but I wish she wouldn't do it between the bites of her burritos. <laughs> I thought I taught her to chew with her mouth closed. I wonder who my roommate's gonna be. You take a survey online and they match you with somebody with a similar major and interest and I bet we're gonna be best friends. Craig and I were. Craig and I were. A good roommate can be a lifelong friend. But don't even get me started on bad roommates. Mm. I'm just kidding, we didn't have a bad roommate. Our only other roommate was a puppy that Craig brought home one night. We spent the semester fabricating a story about how our foreign exchange student who had a really bad cough that sounded exactly like a dog's bark. <laughs> Carl Brule. Yeah! Yeah! They let you have animals in the dorms if you get a note saying you need one? I bet I could forge one. Oh! I mean, she meant oh. <laughs> oh, they let you have animals in the dorm if you get a note saying you need one. Bet I could forge one. I think I'd get a rabbit, or maybe a snake, or maybe both. With a snake eat the rabbit though. Oh boy, I think I'll leave that up to you. She's so excited, I don't want to disappoint her. But I need to be real for a second. So, you know I had that talk with Mr. Vega. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell you about the dumpster fire, did he? What? No. Uh -huh. I don't want to put a damper on the good news, but I need you to knock it out of the park these last few months of school, okay? If you really want to go to Horns, we need that scholarship money. I know you can do it. Ah. Okay. I promise I'll try harder. 
Why did Amanda's face suddenly change to that? Pat her on the back. Think you can handle a 14 hour drive to come home for holidays? There's gonna be some treacherous ice roads to cross. And don't even get me started on the paranormal occurrences. Well, it'll be worth it if I get to see you. That's so sweet. My eyes immediately well up with tears. <laughs> oh, Dad, don't cry. Sorry, I'm just very, very proud of you. You're all grown up now and you're such a good person. And I hope you know how important you are to me. Dad, stop. You're gonna make me cry too. It's too late, honey. It's happening. <laughs> Dad, I can't get tears in my burrito. It's gonna taste sad. I pull Amanda in for a hug and kiss her on the forehead. <laughs> Love you, kiddo. Oh, it's so cute. Huh. Love you too, pops. Oh, that's so that's so wholesome. Welcome. So nice. You've got dads. Oh, so I do get to pick a second date. Hey, are you up to anything tonight? Um, you gonna were planning to go f to the art walk downtown and wondering if you want to care to accompany us. I would normally write a letter longhand, but I ran out of distressed parchment paper. Whoa, why can't I see why can't I see David and Hugo's chat? Am I a hacker? But I don't even have a hacker alias. The feds are gonna bust my door any minute now. I'm gonna I gotta destroy this computer. Alfred, this is a group chat. Oh thank god, do either of you guys know how to destroy a computer? You can run a Narix boot and nuke from a startup flash drive. Ah but once you've done that it's best to physically destroy the planets altogether. Um the Victorians were very well versed in information security. Alfred, do you want to go see some art or not? Art is good, let's go see art. Wait, let's go check out stuff. Uh -huh. Amanda, is that you? What are you doing in that book? Oh, I didn't know I could reply to this one. Uh huh. No we've known each other since business school. How could it confuse me? Should buy Amanda more things. Amanda, you know I didn't go to business school. I barely even managed to get my degree. Wait, no. Wow. I didn't say that. You never heard that. This is gold. I was a great student, I swear. I graduated at the top of my class because I worked hard and ate all my vegetables. <laughs> totally holding on to this for later. Wait, do you even remember what I majored in? I declined to comment. Cool. Okay. So we have the option to go with Craig or to go with uh, Hugo and Damien first. Now I think I, I can afford to go with these two first because I've been on the first date with Craig and uh, these is, I think it's just like a hangout thing that's gonna happen because you can't really like date both of them at once, right? I'm assuming you can. So, so yeah, let's go to the art with them. Why not? I think it'd be a pretty interesting thing to do. Damien and Hugo invite me to their monthly art walk in downtown Maple Bay. I've never really been to one of these before, so I'm not quite sure what I'm in for. I think I'm here a bit early. I don't see Damien or Hugo around anywhere, and I just feel a little uncomfortable standing among all these fancy art people. Alfred? I turn around. It's Joseph! Joseph! What are you doing here? Oh. Joseph scoffs at me. What am I doing here? How could you ask me that? I'm obviously a huge art, uh, <laughs> appreciate, appreciator, appreciatist. <laughs> oh. Okay, fine. Damien invited me to this art walk thing. I'm guessing he invited you too. Yep. Admittedly, a little out of my depth here. <laughs> Thank God. I thought I was gonna be the odd one out. You allowed? You are you allowed to say that? Say what? You know. Thank God. Alfred, you cringy butt! Yep, I actually get double points when I say it since I'm a minister. Oh. The point gets you in heaven. That's how it works. Anyway, where are the guys? I look and spot Hugo and Damon who seem to have just arrived at the gallery. Good eve, good eve. Good eve. Ooh. Evening, friends. Hmm? Who's ready for some art? Um... I have no idea what I'm in for. Hey. Uh, same. Mm. All you have to do is... All you have to know is that if you ever feel overwhelmed, there's generally always a table that has free wine and cheese. I like art now. Oh. <laughs> I've got the table in my side. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go help myself come to some tiny wines. Um, 
get cheesy and tiny one with Joseph. I feel like Alfred would go for this one because he's very awkward. I think I need to cheese up before I delve into art appreciation. Mm. Good idea. Appreci appreciating art does burn a lot of calories. Gotta carb up on these crackers. Joseph and I sidle up the snack table. It's a pretty nice spread of little plastic cups of white wine, some crackers, grapes, and cheese. Mm. This is more my speed. We eat a couple of cubes in silence. These are really good. Hey. Yeah, I didn't eat dinner. I think I could probably just fill up on snacks if I'm sneaky about it. I already ate dinner, but I will always have room for cheese. Oh. I'm going in for more crackers. Cover me. I shield Joseph from a small crowd of mild-mannered art people milling around the room. I don't think anyone's paying attention. We should probably get back to Damon huh? and Hugo. Right. Let me just fill this cup with cheese first for the road. Road cheese? Yeah. The best kind. <laughs> we leave the gallery. We leave the first gallery and walk a few minutes before we reach another one. Another one. This gallery is a bit more crowded. Huge paintings of. I'm not even sure. Ah, I'm sick. Sorry. Hang on the walls. Oh, oh, jeez. What am I looking at here? Oh. This is this is abstract art. I think the more important question is, what does this art mean to you? I stare at the painting, concentrating as hard as I can on its painting. Um, it's a butt. <laughs> Why not? It's a butt. Hmm. Everyone else stares at the painting. Yeah, that's definitely a butt. I... Hmm? Hmm? While, the, while a valid assessment, I feel like the artist was trying to make a different statement. Probably how much he likes butts. <laughs> you... Our servant of the Lord. We're all God's creatures, even butts. Oh. Comparing this, comparing this piece, of piece to the artist's body of work. That is such a confusing sentence for me. Comparing this this piece to the artist's body of work, I'm pretty sure this represents the sense of isolation he feels creating towards traditional abstract artwork in a field that's rapidly moving towards digitization. Wow, how'd you figure uh. that out? That's what it says on the placard. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's look at a few more of these things. We walk around the gallery, sampling more of the artist's work. I almost hate to say it, but abstract art is kind of growing on to me. It's interesting that the artists choose not to let their work be defined by... What's the word? Realism? Realism. As we're looking into one of the paintings, a patron scoffs loudly. <laughs> I could do that. Ah. Excuse me? What? Hugo, not here. Hmm? No, no, come back here. The patron walks away, not noticing Hugo fuming right next ah. to him. You say you could do that, but you didn't. You don't seem to have the intellectual depth or artistic skill to execute a piece even a fraction of us even a fraction as impressive as this one. Hmm. Artist is the truest expression of the self and it seems like yourself is bad, so your art would be bad. Hugo's insult game isn't the best, but there's no denying his passion. Damon is holding him back at this point. Friend, friend, he's not worth it. Uh, Hugo manages to cool down. He smooths his jacket. I don't know. I'm sorry, I just love art very much. We know, buddy. I pat Hugo on the <laughs> shoulder. You know what would ease the mood? Is it cheese? No. Oh. It's wine and cheese. Ah. Cosine. The four of us head over to the wine and cheese table, which thankfully is grounded in realism and is actual wine and cheese. Hey. We got one last stop on the tour. You feeling up for it? Is it gonna be any weirder than this art? Ah. It is absolutely weirder. Than... It is absolutely weirder than this art. Let's do it. Where are we going? Oh. Damon, Hugo, Joseph, and I walk to a performance in the street. Several mass performers in leotards undulately widely on the ground, screaming both at each other and us. So, quick question. Hmm. Shoot. What is happening? Hmm. I second the question. Oh. Performance art. What does it mean? Hmm. Again, I pose the very same question to you, Mr. Edwards. But... What do you think they're trying to say? Oh, oh. I believe it's less about what they're saying and more about why they're saying it. But, sorry, I forgot to use my accent. I think that there's something special about performance art with almost every other form of art, like music, painting, photography, the artist uses their medium as a conduct for their emotions. Oh. Ah, I'm so sick. 
With performance art, the medium is the artist. It's the purest expression of raw human emotion. It's art as cathartist. Uh. That's beautiful, Damien. So what you're saying is, <laughs> if I start making really loud fart noises right now, it's art as long as I like really mean it. Damien fixes him with a hard stare. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna start making fart noises, but based on the look on your faces, that joke isn't gonna play well with this crowd. Hey. Uh. Oh, wise. Yeah. We watch the rest of the performance as earnestly as we can and clap politely after the dancers scream their way off stage. <sighs> I think I'm all arted out. Agreed. We all decide to walk home together. Mm -hmm. We make our way back to the cool de sac, tiny wine and tiny cheese sloshing around in my stomach. I think what I've learned tonight, and not just what I've learned about art, which was nice and extremely informative, but what I've learned tonight is that when you put a bunch of tiny wine and tiny cheese together, it eventually becomes regular wine and regular cheese, followed by too much wine and too much cheese. Oh. I accidentally clicked that. I don't know what Joseph said. <laughs> oh. Cheese wings? Those would melt in the sun too. I feel like it's more appropriate in the oh. Plus, it'd be delicious. A nice Emmentaler, possibly? <laughs> hey, if you guys were painters, what would you paint? Mm. I actually dabble in oil. I mostly paint landscapes. I'm not very good, but it's a nice way to pass oh. time. I think I would focus on personal portraits of people in unique professions like yeah. luchaderios? Luchadores. I think I'd paint boats, seascapes, maybe some lighthouses, mostly boats. Really? Oh. Yeah. I'm surprised you're choosing boats in favor of a long history of religious imagery and artwork. Oh. What? Boats are cool. Um. What about you, Alfred? Um. Tasteful nudes of artists. Landscapes, ah. I think. I think I could examine a lot of, a lot of beautiful imagery and recapture it on canvas, and I'm just kidding, it's gonna be buds. Hmm. Just it gives me a high five. We finally get to the cool <laughs> sack. Alright boys, good art. Good art. Uh -huh. Agreed. Hey! See you guys around? Whether you want to or not, we're all neighbors after all. I head inside to deal with my inevitable cheese over. Cause like hangover but cheese. Welcome. Oh, yeah. You've got dads. Yeah, we've hit the 15 minute mark for today. So we're gonna save and we're going to stop here. So we went on a little date with all three dads. So it was just like a dad hangout, which is pretty cool. Uh, I didn't realize there was such a childish side. Childish? Childish side to Joseph, which is really nice. Here, if you like this video, please hit that like button. It'll really help me out. Help. If you like this video, please hit that like button, it'll really help me out a lot. And when you're around here, feel free to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bar in case you'd like to like know when I upload, what I upload, you know, all my stupid shit, all my happy content and crap. So yeah, and yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I really, really appreciate you guys for continuing to support my channel, always for being there for me, and yeah, love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!